Well, hello again, everybody. The History Guy here. And this is a game that I dove into a couple of years ago briefly, but never really got very far with. And I thought I'd revisit it now since there seems to be a renewed interest on my channel in city builder type games. And as things are slowing down a little bit on foundation, I thought I'd explore a different one. And this is kind of a very different take on the city builder genre. Uh, it's a city builder, yes, but it adds elements of politics and some other things as well. And it's kind of interesting and I'm very new to it and I really remember very little of it. So we're going to be diving into this almost like it's a first look, even though this game's been out a couple of years. It's called Urban Empire and uh, we'll kind of talk through, we're going to play through, uh, we're going to do a, a let's play, a whole series here, but we're going to start out kind of playing through the tutorial in the early part so you can kind of get caught up to speed as to how this game operates. So I'm going to play as though I'm playing for the very first time. So we're going to start a new campaign. And the first thing we have to do right off the bat is we have to choose a family because what happens is as you play this game, as you go through the different kind of time periods, the decades, the uh, time periods of this game, you're going to be playing successive characters from the same family who are running this town. And so the decisions you make right off the bat about the family that you choose actually do have an impact on how the game works. So we've got four different families. We've got um, we're, This takes place in Austria. Um, though not all the, the families are Austrian. The von Filsons are landed gentry, aristocrats with a strong military tradition and a hardline conservative stance. Their grand manor has steadfastly overlooked the same estate, surrounded by their fields and forests since the early 14th century, despite the land belonging to three different countries throughout the years. They're traditionalists, they believe in social hierarchy and the people's need for stability in a changing world. And as I mentioned, all of these different families are going to have a different impact on how the game operates for you. Uh, Saint Elias believe in solving problems through technology. The technological innovation is rapid under their rule. They are known for their almost ravenous hunger for ideas and progress and for their fierce disdain of established traditions and conservatism. Notorious risk takers, both their per personal and professional lives, they often seem aloof and alienated from the gritty reality of the needs of the people. And so, you know, each one of these, I guess, we're just going to have to decide what we think is best. The Kilgannons are a strong working class uh, family with a history in politics and labor rights movement. They rose from grassroots community activists to major players on the city's political scene. Respected as heroes of the people, their dedication has made the family very popular with the proletariat. Their contributions to society are much appreciated, but the benevolence tends to lead to increased building prices. And then the, the Shyskis, the Russian emigres, they pride themselves on being cultured, civilized patrons of the arts and of theater. On the surface, unassuming and even indifferent to politics, none of the rival families view them as much of a threat. And their awareness of social obligations has them in good standing with the people, too. With dabbling in politics relatively new to them, they have no particular expertise in any field. But sometimes disruptive forces come from surprising sources. So I feel like I'm going to take the one that is kind of neutral in everything uh, for this. I've never played as this family before when I've played the game. Uh, so then we, as I mentioned, take on different characters from this family. Uh, Vasily Shaisky earned the reputation of a talented banker and patron of the arts. The expansion of the family fortunes was rewarded when the Emperor of Austria granted Vasily an opportunity to govern the construction of a new city connecting Vienna with the Adriatic Sea. Vasily, Vasily sees this as a chance to build a safe haven for all free thinkers and all who love the arts. So here are his traits and personalities. A socialite, uh, and all of this will make sense as we get into the game. So youth fun plus three, youth social life plus one. Uh, social life plus one and running cost change plus 0 0.05 he's honest uh, which adds to personal growth and all parties goodwill resting point so that's going to play into me being able to get parties on my side to make political decisions that will affect the game he's an elitist which helps him with the elite but hurts him with the low in class low class and the working class and he is the emperor's nominee thus i cannot be voted out so that's good news all right, so we're going to dive in, and now we have to decide where we're going to choose. And we are going to enable the tutorial for this. Um, so the Cape, uh, Swarelia, it's a unique map which offers the player an opportunity to play around the Cape in a U-shape. Um, 
I didn't mean to pick that, but I guess that's what we're going with. I was trying to actually look at the other versions of the map, but this is what we're going to do. So we're going to dive into this here in just a second. All right. You are Vasily Shaisky, member of the wealthy banking family originating from Russia. The Emperor of Austria wants to build a new city to connect Vienna to the Adriatic and invited you to manage the construction. You accept the challenge and have great ambitions to build a safe haven for all who wish to prosper without persecution. You're granted 500 thalers to create the foundations of the new city. All right. So we're going to dive right in. It's going to tell us a little bit about movement, which we know how to do that. So that's not a huge deal. Q, E, R, and T. Yep. All right. All right. Let's get started building your city. Cities are made up of smaller parts called districts. All residents, companies, and municipal services reside within a district. Districts also have infrastructures and different zoning. They are a basic component from which you influence your city. So let's create your first district. All right. So we're going to draw our district. So we kind of look at the area that we've got here and you can kind of see here's the water. So obviously we're probably going to want to be connected to the water in some way. So we're going to start all the way over here in the corner for the district. I actually don't want to do it there because I actually I want to be able to... Uh, and it's not going to let me do it that way. So I guess we have to kind of go from this corner and maybe not connect to the road there. So, all right. How about if we go this way? Maybe we can do that. No, not quite. There we go. That's about as close, I think, as we're going to get to what we want. You can adjust the shape of the district further. Okay, so clicking and dragging corner points. That's what I could have done. All right. So it looks like we're good here, but maybe we go a little bigger. I don't know. That's nah, too big. Okay. I think we'll shrink it down. That looks like a probably a good way to start here. Um, so it's 20 hectickers. Um, I, I guess that's what that is. That's going to cost 284000 plus 34000 a month. So that's going to pretty well wipe me out. Add a corner with the right click. Okay. Oh, I see how it goes. All right, cool. So that's how you can add an additional corner. All right, confirm the land plan. It's a little bigger this time, actually. All right, this is where you can add services to the district. At the moment, there's only one service available, the city hall. That's the heart of decision-making. Uh, so we're going to add ourselves a city hall, which is going to cost 25000 and another almost 6000 per month to add. This is a residential area. This is a mixed area. So um, I think we're actually going to go up here in the corner, so it'll be a little more central. Yeah, it seems like a good spot. No, maybe not. There we go. All right. New districts. Now we have to propose the district because what happens is that actually has to be approved by the city. So uh, it shows you all of the uh, costs and the available information about that. Now you can give the district a name of your choice or keep the suggested one. Later, once you have an established city council, you can propose that this be paid from city money. As this is your first district, you should use the money the emperor has given you and therefore only use personal funds is available. So using personal funds means we bypass having to have it voted on. So if I'm proposing something and I've got the money and I don't think the city's going to approve it and pay for it out of city funds, I can pay for it out of the, the personal money given to me by the emperor. So that's what we're going to do in this case is use city funds. We're going to go ahead and keep it as Darlington, I guess. So now we go to the progress cloud, which is our um, research, basically. This is where you can see all of the inventions. Researching inventions unlocks new municipal services, infrastructures, edicts, business areas, gameplay features, etc. Next to an invention's name, you can see its price in brain power, which of course is up at the top. Uh, so we're gonna we have available inventions, and and the amount of brain power is how long it's going to take based on how much brain power I have, which right now right now I have seven. Uh, so we've got telegraph, gas infrastructure, safety authorities, and thermodynamics. Uh, so we're going to look at gas infrastructure first. And these are all of the things that it allows with this. So we can get gas streetlights, decorated gas streetlights, gas lighting, gas infrastructure, cobblestone road service, and chemicals. Safety authorities gives us safety authorities, clinic, work safety act. So a lot of these are decisions that would be made by the city council. Ban prostitution, alcohol licensing, tobacco licensing. Uh, telegraphs gives me newspaper, church, shoe store, 
and unlock spread selection, which we'll talk more about later. Thermodynamics gives us steam power, clothing store, police station, railway station. I think we're going to go with safe. No, we're going to go with gas infrastructure. So let's start that research. It's going to take 58 months. So that's what we're working on now. We're going to go back to the city screen. All right, as new citizens are settling in, we have some time to look at other things. First, let's learn how to change the time lapse speed. For now, time is close to a standstill, so go ahead and unpause it. You're going to increase the speed. All right, so right up in here. All right, so we're going by. It goes a month at a time. You can see, so there's January, there's February. Our monthly budget balance, not so good, but hopefully that's going to change as people start to arrive. Let's go ahead and zoom down in. Now, in case you're wondering about graphics, I'm set to very high. Not the not the absolute highest, but next to the, the absolute highest. So we can see things starting to happen here, and we can actually look in on all these individual things, the commercial building, the density. It's a cafe, and how much money it, it's making a month. We can promote that particular type of business, or we can protect that building so it doesn't get destroyed and replaced with something else at some point. Here's our city hall. We can upgrade at some point, but we're not going to really do anything at the moment. All right. Yeah, yeah, I know. So uh, here we go. With your time being more and more consumed by the governing of the Kaiserschaffen, the family enterprise has started to suffer. As your son is too young to handle the business, you seek to delegate responsibilities to someone else. A somewhat questionable cousin... Uh, a trusted butler or outside help. Huh. Outside help it is. You decide to find someone who is best capable of running the company. It makes it more difficult to utilize the family fortune to help build the city, but at least you can trust the family business is running as well as possible. So the effect is that I have now added an additional million thalers to my available th funds that I can use and 25 to my prestige, so that's good. All right, we're gonna click on Darlington here. We're gonna modify the district. So services are at the heart of running a successful city. You'll notice that I've unlocked the view at the top of the screen that shows all of the different basic needs. So we're gonna build a school. So let's look at these basic needs. We've got city happiness, which right now is not good. Uh, we've got the city average social life, which is on the plus size. Average security is negative. Uh, average physical environment, average health, average personal growth, and average fun. Got to have fun in the city. So we're going to build a grammar school. And our re residential area is right in here. So I guess that's where we're going to go with our school. We'll go right there with that. And then we have to confirm that. It's going to cost 125000 and 14000 a month. And we're going to propose that district now that has to be voted on unless we use personal funds, which we're going to do again. You can get more detailed information about any particular wheel of life value by clicking it. So let's take a look at our average happiness and why that's not good right now. Uh, so here are, is our demand and how it's provided. So uh, right now, that's our issue. We need a lot of security. We need a lot, pretty much everything we need right now, which gives us a negative one overall. So we're into May of 1821. We're about a fourth of the way to researching gas infrastructure. So let's go ahead and speed things along a little bit. Why does it seem like it's always nighttime? I don't know why it seems that way. Maybe maybe that changes as time goes on. I don't know. But it feels like it's nighttime all the time here. Time to raise more money for the city. At the bottom left panel brings you to one of the game's main views. That's the city council. Let's go ahead and take a look at that for a second. This is the frustrating part of the game, but it's the reality of politics in the world is that most things have to go through the city council and they're not always on board, which means you have to try and convince them through various ways. The city council here can change the tax rate, funding levels, uh, propose different types of edicts, and of course affect political decision making. So we're going to go to the party view, which I'm trying to remember where that is. Here we go. So we look at different parties. There's the Physiocratic Party, which are left-wing policies wanting more state control and loyal to the empire. You can see how many council members they have and how much support we have, or they have, from different classes. So, you know, different pol uh, parties are going to have more support from whoever they tend to help the most. They're neutral uh, toward me. Some are unsupportive. A couple have goodwill. 
Uh, National Sorelian Party, the main political agenda is to promote Sorelian desire of autonomy and self-government. Um, current support there. And then the Free Democratic Party. So uh, that's kind of where all of those are. I thought I just did that. All right, here we go. So now we're going to click on the taxing view. And we're going to try to get them to raise taxes. So we're going to raise the business taxes. And you can see how that's going to affect by the uh, the different parties, the left-leaning, conservative, liberal, right, etc. Uh, so we're going to do that, and that's going to raise us an extra 7400 a month, which should get us on the positive side. So we're going to view the proposal, and you can see how different parties are going to approve of it. And it looks like I'm going to have enough depending on how much is in each of these parties. This party that's against it is actually the smallest. Oh, maybe not. There's 28 here, there's 7 here, and there's 26 there. So I should have the votes to make this happen. So now it's going to get debated in council. Two things that are important here. Three numbers represent the individual council members and their opinions on the vote. Icons on the slide bar represent the party's opinion. The further toward any of extremes. So yeah, as I mentioned. So right now we've got 13 that appear to approve, 6 that are against, and then 42 that are somewhere in the middle. And those are the people that we have to convince. So we have to appeal to those parties. We can plead with... Okay, so the physiocratic party... Those are the folks that are already pretty much in favor of this. So um, we could plead, demand, or threat. We're going to plead in this case. So we can invite the party leader to dinner. You can express your wish in a council meeting, explain the importance of the vote in a newspaper. So we'll do that because these folks are already on my side. I don't feel like I've got to push them too hard. So it looks like uh, that actually helped me plus two with them. I lost one um, goodwill, but I gained to an opinion so all right we'll take it and i feel like that's probably going to be enough to get this done but free democrats they are very much against this um so i don't know do i plead with them as well yeah i'm feeling like pleading today so we're gonna just try to be nice and it looks like it worked so i'm happy with that and, uh, of course, now we've got the, the centrist party to deal with. And this is kind of how the game goes. I mean, you want to build stuff and you want to have free reign, but that's not reality. Reality is that you have to deal with other people who don't always see things the way that you do. And so we're going to struggle with that. There are going to be times I really want something, and I'm not going to be able to get the people to vote for it. So praise the positive effects behind your position. Tell them you need a favor. No, we're just going to appeal to them for the positive effects. Awesome. So it looks like we should have the votes now to make this happen. And we've gotten everybody on board, board that we need to. While we wait for the city council, this is a good time to check out the data view. It's where you can get all the information you could possibly want. So yeah, this is where we have to look at all the different uh, social groups. How much of the population they make up. Uh, what percentage of the population they make up, how happy they are or are not, which in this case, nobody's happy right now in that life. Uh, the social life satisfaction, so you can see how different ways in which they're not happy. Fun satisfaction, environment, personal growth, security, and health. And that's going to help you determine what it is you need to focus on in order to get people more happy. And then you can actually break those down even further by looking at how edicts are affecting them, how companies are affecting that, and all of these different things. So a ton of information available. We're not going to get into all of it right now. There's our in infrastructure grids, our income uh, from the various groups, and how. so that might give us a clue as to where we need to raise more income and where most of it's coming from, which right now most of it's coming from industry by far. Uh, business areas. And again, how they are meeting the needs of various groups. So you can see if maybe one group's being overrepresented versus underrepresented. Um, state laws that are happening right now, there are no laws. They're all locked, but those will unlock as the game goes along. And then the employment rates of different folks. And nobody's unemployed right now, so that's good news. Everybody's got enough to do. So uh, we're waiting now on the vote to modify taxes. So let's look at this here because now, uh, usually about halfway through research, you get to make a little decision about what that research is going to look like. 
Um, so in this case, the city administration is pondering between the different types of gas streetlights. Do you choose the Anglo-Saxon model, which gives a security bonus, the Parisian model, which gives a physical environment bonus, or the Viennese model, which gives a goodwill and support bonus? Um, we're going to go with Viennese because right now I feel like goodwill and support would be a helpful thing to have. So that gave me a big bonus with the physiocratic party, which I think is going to be helpful moving forward. And we can look and see where things stand with the vote. And it seems like we move folks even a little bit further in this direction. We definitely are going to have the votes to make that happen. Um, we can't start the voting early, unfortunately. So we just have to wait for that to, to kind of come down. What is this here? Praise us. The physiocratic party chairman praises your character in a newspaper interview. Thank you. Call him and return the pleasantries. We're going to try and be on good terms with all the parties as best as I possibly can. Victory step completed. Political acquaintance. Prepare. Uh, preparations for the vote have been completed. The city council can now vote on the proposal. You can still appeal to the parties if you want to, but the game will remain paused until voting is finished. I think we've got the vote, so I don't think we need to do any more appealing to parties. Now we wait. And they're trying to make it interesting, but I feel like in the end, the votes... Wow, it was a lot closer than I thought it would be. Um, hmm, man, not real crazy about that. But All right, we can't overrule the decision. So we've got our vote. So back to the city view. Now we're just waiting for uh, gas infrastructure to be complete, and we're going to see what that allows for us. We've got a nice little thriving city. We're making money uh, just barely, but that's okay. Uh, and actually, we're losing eight per turn, but that's okay. That's not a huge deal. All right, gas infrastructure. Fooey, the porch light is burned out, and I can't see whether it's dark outside or not. So now we have all of these new available options to us, and the progress cloud opens further. And whenever you unlock one of these, it unlocks the next one in that part of the tree. Of course, those things take longer, but uh, I feel like sanitation might be an important thing to do. But I'm going to go with safety authorities next and, and go back to that one. So let's go back to the city screen. You've unlocked an infrastructure upgrade. These are upgrades to districts that provide various benefits and bonuses to a district's residents and companies. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and actually, oh, we got honorary membership in something. The people of the Free Democratic Party think you're a great politician, and they'd like to grant you an honorary membership. You know what? I, honestly, I want to stay impartial, so that's going to hurt me a little bit with them, but uh, I want to be on good terms with everybody as best I can. Now we have to modify the district. So we're going to upgrade the gas grid. And that, of course, is going to cost money. It's going to cost $12,000 a month, which is going to put me in the hole again. Uh, and it's going to cost me $250,000 right up front. So let's confirm the infrastructure. Confirm services. We can rename the district. Which I think Darlington's fine for now. Um, no, 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 no. All right, we're going to propose the district. So everything has to be done, has to be done through the, the council. Um, how much personal funds do I have right now? It looks like I've got the money, but it looks like I've got the votes too. So I think we'll go with the votes and let the city pay for this because uh, I feel like we should be in good shape here. Business is booming right now. That's good. So, you know, even, even the, the party that's most against this is leaning approve. So I think we're good. I'm not going to do anything to kind of push that along. We'll just wait and allow that to happen on its own. All right. Here comes the vote. And I'm not the least bit worried on this one. This is going to be an overwhelming approval. I don't know what's wrong with those six people. All right. So we've got gas infrastructure now. And that means now that we can do some new things. The newspaper has appeared. You should always catch up with the latest headlines to know what is happening in the world around you. The news on the left side of the newspaper is always something important. National Swarelian Party wins the election. So uh, they're going to be the leaders uh, in terms of who we have to deal with. Glass cups in, ceramics out, state's industry report. Aluminum is all right. Okay, so um, click anywhere to get out of that. So we're waiting on safety authorities now. Uh, let's look at our progress cloud. That's kind of, yeah, I guess we don't need to look at that right now. So uh, once the gas infrastructure is in place, I want to go up and look and see what's happening. Oh, oh boy. Okay. So let's look and see what's happening over here because I was getting some notifications. 
right, so we're losing 15,000 right now, and the city's actually significantly in the hole. So even though my tutorial's not telling me anything about this, we, we have an obvious problem we've got to deal with. Uh, all right, taxing it is. I hate raising taxes. Hate it, hate it, hate it. But uh, business taxes are at 12%. Citizen taxes, which don't make up that much of what I'm bringing in. So, um, wow, that's not going to get me very far to where I need to be. None of that is. Unfortunately, taxes are not going to get the job done on their own. That's going to get me super close, though. Yeah, I hate I hate it. I, I hate it, guys. I really do. But unfortunately, this is the reality. And so we're going to have to appeal to the parties here. Um, there's only 14 council members there. There's 24 here. So I feel like these are the folks I need to convince on this one. Let's plead with them. Express your wish in a council meeting. All right, that seems to have moved them in the right direction. I feel like I'll have the votes now on this. All right, sorry, guys. I really didn't want to have to raise taxes, but I, I feel like I don't have a choice. Why is it paused? Oh, there we go. Business in recession, paper. Let's go down and take a look at what's happening. All right, there's the progress cloud. We've completed safety authorities. Uh, I think we're going to go to sanitation next. So we'll go back to the city screen now. Yep, yep, yep. All right, it's hereby proposed that an anti-water pollution legislation be enacted. I feel like that's probably a good thing. Um, yeah, I'll support that. I'll support clean water. Um, okay, deputies concerned about water pollution. New laws on the way. All right. First public railway opened in the UK in the meantime. And we are ready for the tax vote. Looks like folks have moved in the right direction. So I feel like we've got this one in the bag. Very handily, actually. I probably didn't even need to do anything on that one. All right. Higher taxes it is, you sickos. People are going to vote you out of office. Edicts. Okay. Regulate the behavior and freedoms of both citizens and companies. Available edicts. Safety authorities. Um... All right, so we can propose one of these. Safety authorities, the medical sector is wide-ranging and specialized, covering everything from hospitals to general practitioners, alternative therapists to medical research. So what we're going to prom promote here, uh, the creation of an executive authority for testing and approval in all health fields would enable simple, effective vetting and regulation in the medical sector. Seems like that might be a good idea. So um, that's just one option. The Work Safety Act... Um, Guarantees a reduction of lost limbs. Also seems like a good idea. Doesn't look like I can propose that one yet, though. Um, we could ban prostitution, which, um, I don't know, I guess that might be a good idea, but we're going to hold off on that one for now. All right, Work Safety Act. Uh, no, we're going we're gonna to propose, uh, propose, yeah, propose safety authorities. Feels like one group's really against this one, but everybody else seems on board, so... Let's go ahead and look at that. Most folks in the middle. Uh, we're going to hang tight on that one for now. I feel like we might have the votes already, and if I don't, it's not a huge, huge deal. Let's look at our folks riding their carriages. That's pretty cool. I guess you can't click on individual ones, but we can look at homes. Uh, this is a commercial building here. Uh, here we got a residential building. That's a nice residential building, too. And you can see who they support in, in the parties and how happy they are. Obviously, right now, security and health are my issues. But we're actually getting ready to vote on such things. So, um, okay. I think we've got the votes here. All right, we do. Perfect. So, safety authorities has now taken hold. Uh, we've got the anti-water pollution vote coming up, and that one's going to be a little more on the fence, but it still seems like we've got the votes. But if we don't, that's not one that I'm going to waste a lot of my uh, kind of political capital on. A golden future. So it looks like an e economic boon, boon is happening. Sorelia achieves literary fame. New city founded in Sorelia. Yep, so they're finally getting the news out about us. We're still losing a ton of money, though, although we now have a positive balance so it's heading in the right direction and because the economy is booming it seems to be going up and up and up so that's good let's look at the, the uh what's our grammar school 
they're actually covering a pretty nice area. I don't know if we want to start building another um, area yet. No, probably not until we get out of the hole here. Physiocratic party wins. I'm not too wor worried about that. We're waiting on our anti-water pollution bill. It is hereby proposed that children under the age of 10 may not be hired for certain jobs. Heavy work. Okay, seems like a good idea there. So yeah, we're going to support that. Seems like most people support that one. So child uh, labor laws. Feel like I'm on the right side of history on that one. Um, all right. So changes to funding are made through the city council. I don't know that I know. Oh, so we're going to change funding to our grammar school. You can see now we've actually got a 15K positive balance. So uh, that's quickly getting us out of debt. So we might at some point, point need to lower taxes, but I'll wait until I absolutely have to on that one. All right. Yeah, we got to go to city council and raise funding on the school, I guess, is what we're doing here. Um, all right, so um, oh, this is my personal funding, so I guess that's my income there. Uh, we're gonna actually raise the, uh, the funding on the grammar school. Let's go up to the next one up. That's gonna be 22,000 a month, so ooh, boy, I don't know. Um, but okay, we'll propose that. Seems like we probably have the vote. So, so far, the council's been pretty Pretty friendly to me. Um, so I guess we're good on that. So let's go ahead back to the city view. And we're about to get several votes happening all at once here. So, hmm. Yeah, we're solid on this one for sure. Man, very friendly city council so far. Either that or it's just that I'm proposing things everybody's kind of on board with. It's here, young children no longer to do unwieldy work. Uh, and then we start with uh, anti-water pollution bill, which is going to be actually, hmm, I don't know. We got 19 here, 16 there. This one's going to be super, super close. We're just going to let it play out. I'm not really that crazy about this one one way or the other. Oh, man, that wasn't as close as it looked like it was going to be. So nice. End of water pollution. I don't know if I'd go that far. The laws will take a few years to take effect, but it seems like that's good news for everyone involved and doing really, really well financially right now. So uh, even though it hasn't told me to do this yet, I think we're going to go ahead and create a second district. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that going here and we'll get that one. Uh, it's going to cost 34000 a month, but obviously we should expect some income to happen that should offset those costs. Um, we could add a clinic. That seems like a good idea. Um, let's go right up in here with that in the residential area. Maybe. It might not allow me to build said clinic. Now, there we go. I just wasn't clicking quite right. All right. Confirm services. Propose district. How much is that going to cost? 784000 Wow. And people are not on board with this one. So it doesn't look like, oh, yeah, I can use my personal funds. That's going to wipe me out on my personal funds. But uh, I felt like that was probably needed at the time. And here comes our vote on the funding change. And I think we've got the votes on that one. Awesome. So we're off to a good start. We'll play this out a little bit longer, and then I think we'll be good for our first episode. I know not a lot has happened so far, but we're just getting started. We're already about 12 years in on this thing. So this is basically just kind of getting our feet wet and having a nice first look at things. Um, what's happening with sanitation? The city administration is learning about how other cities have solved their water and waste problems. Do you want them to focus on water cleanness, water production, or sewers? Um... All right, sewers it is. I feel like that's a good idea to have good sewers. Okay, we're losing money, but um, that's quickly heading in the right direction as businesses and residents move into our new district. That's going to get on the positive side. So victory progress. Here's how victory works. Uh, there's a science victory, an economic victory, a political victory, a remarkable city, or just time runs out, I guess. So if you pass all of the five eras... Uh, science victory, you've got to complete all of these various things like higher education, establish a university, um, have an elite middle class and student social classes represent over 50%. 
Uh, and we'll look into all of those as we move further along. Economic victory, if you have a rail station, a royal harbor, uh, at least five level four businesses to uh, business to business companies. So let's take a minute and just pause and look over some of these things before we get a little farther in the game. So here's an industrial building. And so then you can see uh, that they're a glass manufacturer. You can see their employment level. They're level zero right now. Their sales demand, uh, how much money they're making or not making, which right now they're not. Uh, building density is going to go up as my city grows, I would imagine. Uh, satisfaction level, how they affect the middle class and the elite. And if it's a particular building that I really want to make sure doesn't get demolished and replaced by something, I can protect it, but I don't have the technology to do that just yet. Um, right here we have City Hall. Here we've got our clinic. And then down here we've got our school. So you can see special buildings are highlighted in different ways. We can endorse the service, which is going to give a boost to quality, but costs money. Um, I feel like that might be a good idea to boost the quality of my education. So we'll spend 10000 on that. Um, but let's get a little farther in and then wrap this up. All right, we went heavily into debt, half a million in debt, building that new, that new district. But now we're on the positive side once again. So we'll start paying off some of that debt. And you can see that my personal funds go up by 1000 every month. So it's not real high, and I could certainly change that if I want to when the time comes. But let's look at a few other things, and then I think we're probably going to wrap this episode up. I want to go to the council for just a second and um, look at, I don't know if there's any more edicts we want to pass right now. Let's take a look. Work Safety Act. That's going to hurt me with industries, but it's going to help me overall with security. Um, what we need to look at right now is what's happening. So right now we have a lack of fun in our city, which, okay, security, obviously an issue. So um, we're going to have to focus on those things and what we can do there. But I think we're going to wrap it up right there. That's a good place to stop uh, getting our feet wet, kind of diving into this. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, you want to see more from a series like this? Do you want to see me play this out all the way through? Uh, I'm fairly new to the game, so if you're familiar with it, please let me know your own thoughts. But we're going to kind of continue to play through the tutorial of this so we can get our feet wet and talk through the basics of the game. And I find that following the tutorial is the best way for me to not only learn myself, but to help other people learn the functions and how this game operates. So uh, once we do that, if I do a future series down the road, I won't go through the tutorial. Uh, but for now, that's what we're kind of do. So uh, there you have it. And uh, we'll probably do, this won't be a real common series, unless it's crazy super popular, then I will. But otherwise, maybe every three or four days, you might see another episode from this. Now that we've wound down my other city building series I'm doing. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out some of my other videos. And we will see you again real soon. Thanks a lot.